George Albert, will you take Fiona Clare to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Fiona Clare, will you take George Albert to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him? and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. So friends and families, George and Fiona, I now invite you to join hands and make your vows in the presence of God and his people. Turn and face each other. I, George, take you, Fiona. I, George, take you, Fiona. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. Uh, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God I make this vow. In the presence of God I make this vow. I Fiona take you, George. I Fiona take you, George. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Repeat after me. Fiona, I give you this ring. Fiona, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, uh, body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
George, I give you this ring. George, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. And that deserves a round of applause. Then of course at the university there was what I think probably was the biggest event in her life when uh, her friend Josh introduced her to this other music student, a chap called George. Um, <laughs> yeah. So he was doing the same course as Fiona but uh, a year behind her. So, and the, the other thing, <laughs> not, not in the sense of his abilities. But, But, um, but the, the strange thing is that Josh went to the same school as Fiona, so he knew her from there, he knew George, so it seems to me as though they were fated to get together. And since then, the two of them have become a, a true couple. George, as far as we're concerned, has become a welcome part of our family, as Fiona seems to have become a welcome part of his. Um, they've set up home together, and today they've moved on another step in their relationship, which is lovely to see. I mean, from the first Sandra, I thought they were a great match for each other. They could talk to each other because they both understood music, whereas Sandra and I, our eyes go glazed the minute they start talking. Fiona and George start talking to each other. So, and the other, the other thing that struck us about George was um, Fiona had a 21st birthday party. And it was a fancy dress, and George came dressed as George of the Jungle. So. We thought, well, if he'll do that for Fiona, it must be something special there. <laughs> but the uh, phrase, don't marry someone you can live with, marry someone you can't live without. I think because they've been together for a number of years, they've proved that they can live together. And I think today is a demonstration that they can't live without each other. I hope it is, anyway. <laughs> so, um, in conclusion, personally, I'd like to say I have much pleasure in wishing you both many years of joy and happiness together and just like to quote three lines extracted from the, the middle of Distance Lion King can you feel the love tonight you needn't look too far love is where they are ladies and <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that yeah, all right. <laughs> My name's Arthur. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for being here today, especially those of you who knew that I'd be saying a few words. It's very touching that you still decided to come. <laughs> I really don't know why George has given me the role of best man. I have the talking ability of a five-year-old, but fortunately, that's two years better than Tom here. The grand finale, the piece de la resistance. Me. No. <laughs> Just kidding. I do obviously mean my new wife, Fiona. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> the vast, vast majority of this speech uh, wrote itself, but this last section took several drafts. Not because I uh, didn't know what to say, rather quite the opposite. In a hundred words or so, how could I explain both what you mean to me uh, and also how excited I am to spend the rest of my life with you. This being my disclaimer, 
I just want you to know I've tried my best. <laughs> uh, you look incredible today, and unsurprisingly, it was your astonishing beauty that piqued my 19 year old self's interest. At 26, seven years on, that interest remains peaked, peaked, if not intensified. However, in life, the soul needs more than twinkling eyes, a pretty face, or a fine booty. <laughs> Thank God, otherwise I won't be the groom today. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I found all those qualities and more in you, Fiona. I started a speech with a joke, at least I hope it was a joke, about how I might never speak on behalf of both of us again. But the truth is, if I were to lose the capacity or right to speak on behalf of myself, then I wouldn't want anyone other than you speaking for me. Compromising in the cage show to those you love, family or friends, is just one of the many, many things that I love about you. Every day we spend together, I believe I become a better person, and that's because of you. There is no one else in the world I would rather spend the rest of my life with, and I'm ecstatic to be able to call you my wife. 